Yo, what is up? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your first Facebook ad. I always say, you know, you could have the best band in the world, and if you don't know how to market yourself properly, I don't give a shit how good your band is. So with advertising, whether it's Google AdWords, Instagram ads, Facebook ads, YouTube marketing, you know, to take your business to the next level, you need to be marketing and advertising 24 seven. So let's jump into it and, uh, you know, get your business off the ground. All right, so let's jump into it, setting up the first ad for the clothing line of the DGAX. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna click create campaign. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up an engagement ad because from what I was taught is based on the first three days, we're able to tell if an ad is performing well based on how much it's costing us for an engagement. So if it's more than 20 to 30 cents, if it's a dollar, 40 cents, 50 cents, you know, we want to kill that ad quickly and test different interests and behaviors to get the engagement down properly. Because if we're getting cheap engagement, we know we have a proper ad set. And what an ad set is, is our pretty much our custom avatar of who we're targeting. Um, so I'm just going to do the campaign name real quick, DGAX Clothing, PPE, ad number one. All right, continue. So I already have a saved audience. Um, and what we're doing is we're, doing, uh, we're going to be doing clothing and streetwear, um, 21 to 34. Anyone who has be a purchasing behavior, purchasing behavior with men's fashion and apparel brands, you know, it's 23 million people. And what I like to do is called flex targeting. So by flex targeting, you narrow further. And by narrow further, you must also match at least one of the following. So out of these 23 million people, they have to at least match one of these six brands. And out of this criteria, they must also like Hype Beast and also like Supreme and also like Stussy. So the way you started off is, you know, you're, you fall into category A, then you must fall into category B. And if you fall into this, you must like this, you must like this, you might like this as well. So that is how I flex target to get a very, very, very defined potential customer. And this potential reach is 73,000 people. Um, people like to start with 100,000 to 800,000, but I'm going to start super targeted and super niche because I know my audience directly. It's streetwear, it's hype, it's fashion, it's hype beast, supreme, stussy. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And I'm going to start off on Facebook. And what I like to do, I like to start off on mobile only. I'm not doing Instagram with this ad. I want to start with Facebook. So I'm going to do the feeds. What I like to do is I only like to do it when connected to Wi-Fi because when you're not connected to Wi-Fi, you are not at your house. You're not at your job and you might be on the bus. You might not be in a purchasing behavior. You might not be in a buying behavior. So this is my personal opinion. Um, people have other options. Some people like to test desktop and mobile together, then break it down. Some people do without Wi-Fi. So you know, this is personal preference. This is just what I've learned, and this is what I'm going to go with. Um, I don't have years and years of Facebook experience behind me, but you know, from one of my mentors, this is what he does, so this is what I'm going to do. There's millions of ways to go about it. There's millions of ways to go about it. So, you know, personal preference. So now we're going to get into your Facebook page on my business managers. I have my four businesses and accounts hooked up. This is, so what's cool is I have, you know, Derek Allegrini, which is the dgax.com and I have two pixels on my website and I have the pixels set up for my personal brand, the dgax, and I have a pixel set up for the clothing brand. And then I have Stellation Media and Unique, which is my jewelry company which I'll also uh, do some videos on. So I'm gonna do this for the DGAX and we are going to create a new ad. And we're gonna do a single image. We're gonna browse my library. And when you're choosing an image, make sure it really fits into the 1200 by 628. Um, however, I have heard people saying they really like using the square image, the 1200 by 1200. However, this is what Facebook is asking us to do. So this is what I do. Um, here's my ad copy that I created before. The shop now button is going to direct them to the URL, which is going to bring them right to this page that I created. 
Um, I'm really testing out still. Do I bring them to the shop page? You know, it is cool, but it is an extra step in the funnel. And I don't know why these things pop up so late. It's kind of fucking annoying me. So I got to fix that. But um, yeah, this website's fucking ill. I have not been converting as much as I like, though, because I'm not doing any retargeting. But anyway, um, make the call to action shop now. You know, you could do send message, learn more, no button, but, you know, definitely do shop now and make sure you're tracking your event pixels and make sure you're choosing the right one. Most likely you're only going to have one, but in this case I have four to choose from because this is my business manager. And that is how my ad is going to be set up. Make sure the spelling is correct. Welcome to the DGAX, shop our full collection. Okay, cool. And what you do afterwards is you're going to confirm it. And one thing also, um, there's so many different theories out there about scheduling the time. Um, what you should do is, you know, I'm going to schedule this for Thursday, um, 12 a.m. Because let's say you're running a, uh, an ad at 9.12 and your daily budget is $5. Facebook's going to spend all your $5 within the next three hour, two hours and 48 minutes. So that's why I always like to start at midnight um, on the following day. Well, in this case, I would start November, but I already have the same ad set up. I just forgot to record this tutorial when I'm doing it. So that's what I would do. Your daily budget, um, you know, I'm starting with $5 a day. Um, cause I'm just testing my waters. I haven't run Facebook ads in a while on my end cause I have a team that runs them for me, but I want to run my own ads for my clothing brand, my personal brand, unique installation media, just to up my skill sets because eventually I'm hoping all these pop off and I could put a lot more time into the advertising aspect and, um, not work with much clients for my agency cause I'm kind of getting over it. But anyway, you know, continue. Go into here, make sure everything is good. I would review it, um, make your ad set name. What I like to do is, since I'm doing um, USA mail 21 to 34 mobile Wi-Fi. That's how I like to set up my ad set. My ad name, I'm gonna do you know PPE ad number one. And I'm gonna confirm it because everything looks good. Impressions, post engagement, okay, okay, okay. Confirm. And just like that, you have your first ad. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and can take this step-by-step -step process to set up your first Facebook ad to start, you know, gaining website traffic, more of a following engagement, you know, whatever you want to opti optimize your conversions for. Facebook ads is a very, 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 very in-depth subject, so I'd watch a lot more tutorials, see whatever else I'm producing in regards to that subject matter, and check out some other gurus like Dan DeSelva, Ben Mahalo, Alex Becker, and uh, Miles Beckler, just to you know, throw some names on the top of my head. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, throw the thumbs down, throw the thumbs up, whatever you're feeling. I uh, really appreciate the support, and uh, you know, good luck with everything, and uh, peace. Yeah.